Well, hello 3E. We're talking about options to pay today. Our goal, I am familiar with options, sometimes offered in stores, to help people pay for their purchases. So we're going to talk about different options uh, that you may run into when you're making big ticket purchases, or some of them are not so big ticket purchases. Um, options to pay. Method number one is called the layaway. And you might hear this in um, advertisements where it says layaway options or something like that. Um, what layaway means is if you find an item that you really like at a good price but you don't have enough to pay for it now, some stores offer a layaway option. So you pay a small percentage right now um, and that percentage of the total cost including taxes, you're going to pay that up front and then they'll store it for you. The store will keep it. They won't let anybody else buy it, but they'll store it for you until you can come and pay the rest of it. Um, so you pay the remainder of the total cost um, when you pick it up at a later date. Okay, so you pay the remainder at a later date. So here's an example. Chris wishes to purchase a new lawnmower for $349.99. He puts 10% down now and puts it on layaway. How much does he have to pay when he returns to pick it up in six months? So here are the three steps involved in actually figuring this one out. Calculate the cost uh, with 13% HST, so the total cost. Calculate the layaway amount and calculate the remaining amount. So let's have a look here. Um, I'm going to highlight highlight in pink uh, the important stuff up here this is the purchase price um, he's putting 10% down and of course we have to do the 13% HST now this six months doesn't matter he can pick it up in six months or he can pick it up in a year whatever his agreement is with the store the amount that he pays doesn't change um, even if even if the price goes back up again because okay, he might he might have bought this item on sale. He saw a really good sale price and said, can I put this on layaway? I don't have enough to pay for it now, but I will later. And then he pays the sale price. Okay, so calculate the total cost with 13% HST. Now we're going to do the method two when we're doing total cost. Uh, to calculate total cost, we take the price and we multiply that by 1 plus the tax rate. And in this case the tax rate is 13 percent but of course when we use it we have to change it to 0 0.13. So in this case now the purchase price is $349.99 and we're going to multiply that by 1 plus 0 0.3, which is 1.13. Okay, that's all we, 1 plus the tax rate is 0 0.13, which is going to give us 1.13. Okay, so now let's plug that into our calculator. $349.99 times 1.13 equals... 395.49. I'm going to round that. Remember, we always round to the closest cent. So I'm going to round that 8 based on this 8, which means that this has to go up to a 9. 395.49. So 395.49 is the total cost. Calculate the layaway amount. The layaway amount is 10%. So the layaway amount whoops, the layaway amount equals total cost times um, the layaway percent. Sometimes stores are going to want more than 10 percent. Sometimes they 
well, they probably won't want any less than 10% because 10% isn't much. So um, we need to take the total cost, not the purchase price, total cost with taxes. So that's 395.49 and we're going to times that by the layaway percent. In this case it's 10 percent but remember we can't use it as 10 we use it as 0 0.10 and 395, you can plug it into the calculator if you want, this one's actually pretty easy, 395.49 times 0.1 it's just going to move the decimal place over, so 39.55. So $39.55. Then it says calculate the remaining amount. Uh, the remaining amount is what he's going to pay six months from now. So if he pays this much now, then we calculate the remaining is going to equal the total cost subtract the layaway amount. So in this case, it's going to be $395.49 subtract $39.55. Uh, so $395.49 subtract $39.55. $395.49. Three hundred and fifty-five dollars and ninety. What was that ninety-four cents? So he pays thirty-nine fifty-five now and three hundred fifty-five ninety-four when he comes to pick it up at a later date. Um, so layaway, you know, there's the, layaway is a good option if you find something on sale and the store offers you layaway. Um, but it doesn't really give you, like you still need to pay this huge lump sum um, unless you decide to put more than 10% down in the first place but it's still you need all the money there at once so some stores offer you things like this which is a, a rent to own some stores offer an option of where you you rent the item on a per monthly or a per weekly basis um, with the option if you keep it long enough then they say okay you've had it long enough um, the object's getting old now we don't really want it back so you can keep it okay but you have to keep it for the um, maximum rental period okay uh, so often the amount you end up paying for the item is a lot more than if you had just paid it outright in the first place. So that's a major disadvantage of rent to own is you end up paying a whole lot for the item that you purchased. Now I've got an example here. This easy home is a whole lease to own and lease to own and rent to own are the same thing. Easy home is a whole rent to own organization. So everything in their store or everything on their website, which is where I got this from, um, is offered on a lease to own option. So we're going to talk right now about the iPhone 5 that I found on their site. Now this is just the iPhone 5. It's not the newest model um, and I just found this on their website this morning. Uh, it's not the newest model so keep that in mind when we're looking at it. <coughs> This says, we're looking at this thing, iPhone 5, 16 gigabytes. We want to figure out how much we're going to actually pay for this thing um, when we're done. It says, and here's the important stuff, it says it's $19 per week and then you have to keep it for 104 weeks before you own it. Now it gives you this whole cost of product and, and to purchase cost. Uh, plus taxes and liability waiver, blah, 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 blah. It's giving you a little bit of information about how much the, the cost is going to be. Um, it says the cost of the product is $16 and then you're going to have $2.95 uh, and then taxes and stuff on top of that. But all of that is included in this $19 per week. 
So this is pretty easy to figure out the total, uh, the total amount you pay. So the total paid, you actually take the rent and times it by the uh, rental period. Now this is the rent and this is the rental period. So the rent is $19 and we are going to have that for 104 weeks. So 19 times 104. 1976. So, 1976 for your iPhone 5, 16 gigabytes. Well, is that a good deal or not? Uh, probably you're already saying, whoo, that's a bad deal. Uh, but let's figure out just how bad this deal actually is. Here is the latest price information um, for an iPhone. Now this is the iPhone 5S, um, so it's the newer model. So this one over here was just the iPhone 5 and now we've got the updated model because Apple's not selling the old model anymore. So I got this directly from the Apple Store online. Um, here's the price here. Now, of course, there's no rental period. You got to pay it right up front. Although Apple does offer you, and this is kind of good too, on the Apple Store, you can pay it over three months if you want to. It'll split that, split your total cost into three months, and it doesn't charge any extra for it. And so that might be an, an option. You always look for things like that on stores as well. Um, but let's c calculate what this is going to cost if you buy it at the Apple Store. And this includes if you take three months to buy it. Um, if you pay it over three month installments, that you're still paying exactly the same total cost. Uh, they're just going to split it into three payments and charge your credit card three times as opposed to one time in one month. Um, but this doesn't include taxes, so we have to calculate the total cost first. So total is going to equal price times one plus the tax rate. Now the tax rate here is 13%. So the price is $719. And then we're going to multiply that by 1.13 to get the tax rate. So 719 times 1.13. 812.47. $812.47. So that's what we would pay if we bought it from Apple. Uh, whether we just bought it outright or whether we did it in three month installments. This is what we pay if we got it from Easy Home. 1976. So difference. We take that 1976 and subtract 81247 uh, 1976 subtract 812.47 is $1,063 $1,063.53 Oops, I missed a zero there, didn't I? $1,163. No, I missed a one. $1,163.53. That is a lot of extra money just for being able to pay it over a long period of time. Um, and just how long is this period of time? 104 weeks is what we were paying for it. 104 weeks is two years. So we're going to be paying for this iPhone for two years and don't forget this does not include the um, data plan or anything else. This is just simply 
buying out the iPhone. Then you would have to have it connected to the to the data plan and all that kind of stuff. Um, so this is really expensive, and you may need to consider, you know, uh, a different option or along the lines. Uh, buying it outright is expensive too. But, and remember, one more thing to remember, this was the newer model. Because Apple has everything um, up to date and Easy Home is trying to clear out stock um, that it may have built up. So, beware of rent to own. Rent to own is not usually the best option. Um, there's lots of people get in trouble with credit and stuff because they are paying much much more and usually they didn't have much to begin with if they're going to the rent to the own, own option. Uh, if you have to rent to own you cannot really afford to pay this much extra for your item if you didn't have enough to pay it out right in the first place. So rent to own is really something that you should probably avoid if at all possible, especially for small ticket items like electronics and stuff. Uh, now, uh, you have a few questions to finish and there is an assignment that goes with this one, or a handout that goes with this one, I guess it's not really an assignment, where you, I'm going to have you looking online to find some things uh, in the rent to own stuff. Um, so that concludes this video.